Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're doing some more Master Mode, except for it's twice as hard. It is Mare Derpy, all the mobs have double HP, but in return we get 50% more Catacombs XP. It should be a lot of fun, should be a little bit of a challenge, and hopefully we can still do our runs at the regular speed, and who knows, maybe even get our last Master Star that we're looking for today, or a Giant Sword. We still haven't dropped one of those, and we're nearly at 1,000 floor completions, so we have a lot of work to do today. If you guys are excited, leave a like and subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Super quickly though, tomorrow there are some brand new fire sales going live, and we have a very very clean lineup we're gonna go through these really quickly we have the big brain zombie pet skin this thing is honestly clean look at the little braid on top like th this one's super clean i really like this one um i'm this might be the one i apply to my zombie pet not gonna lie and then next up we have some actual heat we have the sentinel warden helmet skin this thing's insane. The skin is swappable between eight variants, unlocked from Revenant Horror Slayer XP, and modifies the look of your Revenant Horror boss. Your, your like, Revenant Horror bosses look different when you have this helmet equipped. And uh, it's kind of insane. Here's, like, the red one. Then we have the, uh, this one's, like, an orangish. We have this, like, pinkish purple, which looks super sick. We have this green. What I think super cool about these two is um these kind of like match various other sets the red as i was talking about orange this blue we have like this grayed out black one and then back around to the red so some super clean variants we also have the brain free zombie skin this is also a super sick like winter themed uh zombie pet skin which looks super clean but yeah by the way this warden skin get it while you can this thing's gonna be worth a fortune in the future i can assure you of that and then we also have the sentinel zombie skin which also looks a little sick it looks like our zombie pet would be rocking a little midi uh kind of warden helm so if you find yourself picking up any of those skins don't forget to use my career code code zach that's z-a-c-h just like my name to save an additional five percent on checkout anyways without further ado let's jump right into today's video okay i was i was in the forge uh starting some uh power crystals and i came over and hit this uh powder ghast and it didn't give me any message besides me leveling up, so I'll, I'll take level 382. I'm assuming it was a bestiary tier, um, if I had to guess. Dwarven Mines, Gas, it, it wasn't. Was it Powder? But it didn't even, like, give me the ding or pop-up or anything. I have no idea. Strangest way I've probably ever leveled up. Um, it is what it is, though. But from yesterday, something I forgot to do was spend some of my Undead Essence. We ended up with 12,000 of it. And we should put it to good use. Um, there is an upgrade here that costs 10,000, but it gives less XP than this upgrade that costs 8,000. So, I'm going to do the 10,000 one. It's the smart thing to do. I know I want more XP too, but uh, I'm going to have to do it anyways eventually. So, I'll do that one for plus 3 XP. Yay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it for now. Obviously, we're going to be doing a bunch of dungeons coming up during Mare Derpy because the extra like 50% Catacombs XP or whatever. So, I'm pumped. We should get a ton of essence. We should get through a ton of runs. I want to, at a minimum, finish off M6 entirely. And um, maybe we even do our first M7 during Derpy. I don't know if M7, if, if I want to take that on during Derpy, just because of um, how scary that boss is to me. I haven't done it before, and it with double HP sounds terrifying. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Well... This morning's the day. Mayor Derpy is now in office, which means 50% more Catacombs XP, if I'm not mistaken. But it comes with a couple other complications. Basically, um, all monsters have double health. And yes, that does include mobs in dungeons. So, it'd be a little rough out here today. And unfortunately, we don't really have any Kismets for rerolls. So, I need to make sure that my tree or my um, RNG meter is set on Giant Sword, which it is. Good to see. And just to compare, I want to see like how much of everything we go up today. I'm going to be doing a couple hour dungeons today, more over the course of Derpy, of course. But we're starting today off at 34 million, roughly, out of 38 million towards Cata 45. And then in terms of our boss collection, we're starting today off at 855 out of 1,000. So, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and start up a queue. Let's hopefully we can find some, some gamers and... We'll see how difficult M6 is with Mayor Derpy elected. So a couple of things. Oh, I don't, I didn't do dungeon potions. I actually need to do dungeon potions today. I feel like that's going to be a necessity. Everything's going to hurt and everything's going to be extremely strong. Um, I guess we'll see how the first run goes. Usually I don't do potions in M6 just because 
Honestly, M6 has gotten quite easy, and um, I just feel like I don't entirely need them. I just need to be more careful with rooms I walk into, and uh, what rooms I decide to take on, start of run. Like, I probably shouldn't go into a yellow room as soon as the run starts, that type of thing. But um, it, sh it should be fun. It should be it should be interesting. It's definitely going to be like dungeons on hard mode, so I, I need to pay some uh, attention. There should be a mini boss in this room, though, so let's see. No way it's a shadow assassin, bro. First mini boss of the day and we're dealing with this? Okay, good. Thankfully, he decided to kind of let me live. That's that's very chill of him. But yeah, I'm going to start running some floors and uh, let's see how this goes today. Okay, I'm mainly showing like our first boss fight and stuff of the day just because uh, this might be a little hectic. And um, oh, by the way, I don't have gyro. I always forget to tell people. But, uh, I'm bird, so I'm supposed to gyro, I think, uh, second. Or maybe fourth. I, I honestly don't know when uh, Burrs is supposed to gyro. It's either second or fourth. But I'm assuming second based off the fact that all the Terracos were just chilling there. They're like, WTF? Yeah, listen, man. Okay, I, my, my buddy's minions are cooking, though. Give them some time. They're actually getting close. The funny thing is we're going to have a gyro, and then um, I, I won't really need it. I mean, there, there's some application points, though. Like, there's, there's other things you need for in the game, and... Also, I'm sure I'll find some uses for it in M7, but the main uses are definitely in um, M6, and I haven't had it for all of my M6 grinding, but honestly, very good run. Looks like we have a pretty decent team of gamers, and I really want to see how much Catacombs XP we're going to get for this run. Like, first run of the day bonus, as well as Derpy, want to make sure I'm getting that extra 50%, and uh, it should be juicy, but oh my goodness, that thing's alive for a minute there. Uh, Necromancer Lord Sword, or, or Necromancer Sword, not something we need, nothing there, nothing in Diamond, nothing in Emerald, let me re -queue us, but 374,000 Catacombs XP I just saw there, that's, uh, that's juicy, as well as 246,000 Burrs XP, okay, well, yeah, tonight, today might be a level up day, that, that is for sure, that is, that is a ton of XP, that's awesome, beautiful, oh, Frozen Adventure, Ice Spray today, maybe? Oh, no, or I'm, or I'm just gonna die. This guy shred that frozen adventure. Oh my goodness, our archer's insane. Alrighty, another successful run. I'm not gonna lie, I did die to a shadow assassin pretty early in this run. Um, yeah, that, that thing just messed me up. I'm not gonna lie. That thing was uh, terrifying. It, it TP'd twice, which was, um, that's, that's always fun, right? When you just get nuked. So, um, yeah, another run complete. We're raking in the cat XP, 375,000 that run. That is so good. Um, yeah, I want to do a ton of dungeons. Um, I mean, it's just it's just awesome. Someone leveled up their mage class. Nice. We're working towards that cad level. That's the big one. But we went up over a full percentage that run. What? Wait, that's actually crazy. Also, this room looks like... I have not seen this room often. I need to look up what the Trinity room looks like because I'm still missing Trinity. And I don't even know what the room looks like, obviously, because like I, I just haven't seen the room. I need to look up like pictures so I know what like I'm looking for at least because there's a good chance I've just stormed past it and have no idea what I was looking for but I still really need that Trinity um, like contact for my Abbey phone so hopefully I can get that sooner rather than later also I'll let this guy do uh, do these secrets over here and we'll head on this way and uh, make our way down so um, yeah make sure you clear your rooms before you do your secrets talking to you 30 I know you're watching I'm talking to you, buddy. Oh my goodness, some guy in that run is just so used to re-rolling their chest and they just re-roll that giant sword. Oh, that's uh, that's unlucky, man. That is unlucky. Well, um, yeah, I think if I ever did that, especially because I don't even have one yet for museum or anything, I'd lose my mind. But um, hopefully we don't do that. Hopefully we just get a giant sword. And uh, that would be great. Unfortunately, it looks like this is our mage's last run, but... We've been uh we've been doing a good string of runs here. None failed. Uh, we're almost at ninety five percent towards Cata forty five. Can't wait to level up. Um, I mean honestly, the biggest part of leveling up is it makes all my things that have ancient on them a little bit stronger. Increases my dungeon stats as well, so dungeons become slightly easier. A little bit more damage, a little bit more overall stats, and uh, overall it's just a good time. So you love to see it. Okay, apparently it was a necromancer sword. He still has his giant sword beast here. I'm assuming he doesn't have a texture pack. So uh. Crisis averted. And there it is. Catacombs 45. Sheesh. Plus 40 skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. And uh, nothing in our chest to uh, celebrate the momentous occasion, unfortunately. 
But uh, I will go to the dungeon hub super quick and sacrifice or salvage. See, there's like sacrifice and salvaging. I always mix them all up. There we go. And uh, let's hop back into some more runs. They're going pretty smooth so far. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing I've really gotten is a recom. And everything I do get dips into the G-Drag bank a little bit. So your boys have to do some farming. We need we need a bear coal next, man. I need one so bad. I, I, need, uh, I need some mining fiestas to juice me up. Because, like, some mining fiestas, that's 400 million coins in my pocket. I have plans for those 400 million coins already, let me tell you. So, that would be great, obviously. Um, whether we actually get a mere Kohler next, though, that's uh, that's a whole nother story. But, man, there's just so many things you need coins for. Like, especially now that we're kind of getting into Kudra a little bit. We're doing Master Mode. Like, I want Recoms. I want Swarm Books. Like, there's so much stuff that I want. So, uh, yeah, it all goes really quick. And, um... Yeah, hopefully we get a Mayor Cole soon because your boy is kind of broke. That was quite the successful session. First thing I want to do, though, um, somehow, I mean, we only got two recoms, but, I mean, we went up a whole CAD level, which is the main part that I really care about from today. Um, we're 10 mil below g Drake Bank, though, so it's time to sell a little bit of Enchanted Sugarcane. We have quite the stockpile, but I'm going to be honest, I don't like doing this because if we get a Spaceman eventually and it wants Sugarcane... I'm going to be sad and think back to the three stacks of Enchanted Sugarcane I've sold so far. But luckily, I do have I do have a decent amount, but obviously nothing in comparison to what you need for, um, like, the Spaceman. I think I literally have maybe a tenth right now of what you would need for it. So I don't enjoy selling those, but uh, you got to do what you got to do to keep the g Drake bank up. And, um, yeah, happy that we'll be back over a bill again. Let's go one bill. There we go. 3.9 mil over top. Um, I do have 7.2k bits that have actually just come in. Also, do I have any Kismets that I tucked away into... I don't. Okay, so let's go and buy a few Kismets. Not many because um, we're kind of broke as a joke right now in terms of bits. I need them to start adding up. So let's go ahead and just buy as many Kismets as we can, I guess. Five, right? Okay, perfect. Well, we have five rerolls available. Um, we have a lot of runs to choose from. Where are the runs that started today? I think it's this whole page almost. Yeah, starting from here is what we did this morning. So let's just pick five random runs. Um, all right, here we go. Open for a giant sword. Maybe a master star. Let's see. We roll the first run. Oh, love nothing. Also, oh my goodness, I forgot. I have to go through all these runs afterwards and open up a chest. I'll, I'll do that afterwards, um, but let's go and reroll this one here nothing okay our third run we only have three more uh kismets for today and soul weaver gloves no not what we're looking for unfortunately uh that was a scuffed run i remember that one we had a teammate leave mid run don't know why people do that but it is what it is um swarm one for two mil no thank you let's go ahead and reroll this one and recom in the swarm for six mil honestly i will take that no complaints entirely uh, well, kind of, because we got <laughs> we got to sell another stack of that, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, there we go. So, three recoms from today. Unfortunately, no more Kismets, so that's all we're going to get. And uh, we have to decide what we want to recom now. Um, part of me kind of wants to do the rest of my Sorrow, but I don't know if I will. Let's take a look at our equipment real quick, because I know I have some stuff in here that I want to recom that I just haven't yet. Um, I mean, I should probably recom... I'm going to put this glowstone gauntlet aside because that's glistening on it, my one from mining. It would probably be worthwhile to recon that, not going to lie. But let's see. My veteran vitality uh, necklace and glowstone gauntlet. I think these two are getting are getting reconned because, um, yeah, they, they just deserve a recon. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, perfect. What, what's so sick, though, is like we're, finally, we're just reconning everything, which makes me so happy. So there we go. Glistening, vanquished. Glowstone Gauntlet, that'll give me a little bit more mining fortune when I'm mining. And then uh, I've been wanting to recom this for a good while. Our Magma Necklace, if you guys remember this, that thing took us literal days to get. And then we have our Veteran Vitality uh, Glowstone Gauntlet. So let's go ahead and recom that one as well. That We use that one a lot for Blaze Slayer. There we go. Man, we are we are rolling through recoms, and it is it is amazing. There we go. We have our full mining equipment, our farming equipment, our fishing equipment, 
And uh, I don't want to recon these two blaze pieces yet because these aren't god roll, obviously. And then we have our whole dungeon set of equipment recommed. Man, we've we've been getting so many recoms. It's so good. I probably need a recom a gun live contagion, but I, I want better rolls on it, better attributes. So I won't do that yet. But man, I love how many recoms we've been getting. We're actually stocked up. We are genuinely stocked up. But um. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. I was happy with those runs. If you guys want to see how much XP we went up in total this morning, um, we're now 3.2 million XP towards Cata 46, which is pretty exciting. And in terms of our boss collections, we are now sitting at 905 out of 1,000. I can't wait to have this done. It's going to be our first diamond head, and we aren't far away from it. One thing I do find crazy, though, is I'm still missing, like, armor pieces and things for uh, different sets. Like, some of the rarer and harder to get sets for museum. Uh, I just can't believe how, how long I've gone since I've gotten the piece I need. I look through every single uh, drop I get, make sure I'm not salvaging anything I shouldn't. Always keep track of all that, and uh, yeah, we're just we're missing some important stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have en enough undead essence for an upgrade today. But uh, let's go Warp Crystal Nucleus because I think, or am I 200 off for the upgrade I want to do? I have enough to upgrade Radiant Fissure to 8, which is 1.6k Diamond Essence. I want to increase this one because increase your chance of fishing up a Diamond Trophy Fish in the Crimson Isle by an extra 2%, uh, which goes a long way, especially for how long of a grind we have ahead of us still. So let's go ahead and do that one. That is plus 8 Skyblock XP. The next one's going to be 1.8k, and then the one after that 2k, and then we'll be maxed out on that perk which is pretty exciting then i want to go warp forge how much gold essence do i have this is a whole nother thing i think i have enough for a couple upgrades though if i'm not mistaken i looked earlier before i started my runs today and i had enough for some stuff uh yeah we do okay we have a thousand okay um you know what let's do oh do we just do two midas lures i think we do two midas lures okay 400 and then 600 Okay, perfect. I think that was plus five Skyblock XP and also more golds. Why not? Um, I don't. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way too much of getting diamonds. I don't know how it rolls for those and whatnot, but hopefully that doesn't end up griefing me. I'm sure it doesn't. Hopefully it's a, a useful perk, and I'd rather get golds than bronzes and silvers, so may as well keep upgrading that as well. And uh, overall, just a couple of little Skyblock XP things. We're now up to 57 out of 100 towards level 383. So unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today's video. I'm in the middle of trying to get ahead a couple days for the holidays. I'm going to be traveling late on Christmas Day and then also just family things on the 24th, the 25th. And um, yeah, also just want to wish you guys a happy holidays as they are coming up in the next few days. And just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting the channel this year. Honestly, we've been on a crazy upload streak like the last couple months. I think I think we're past 75 days in a row without missing a day. So kind of insane. Um, glad to see you guys are still enjoying the Iron Man profile. I'm honestly having a lot of fun with it. And we're getting into some pretty hefty grinds really soon. Such as M7 and Tier 5 Kudra. As well as just completing a lot of other things around the game. Working towards max Skyblock XP. It's going to be a grind, and if you guys don't want to miss any of it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Use code Zach when picking up the brand new fire sales tomorrow. They are so clean, you are not going to want to miss out. But without further ado, can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace out.